Okay. Another question is, an astronomer used the line spectra to estimate the recessional velocity of the galaxies. Explain in terms of the photon emission, how the atomic line spectra are produced. The answer is, atom has discrete energy level. When photon is absorbed, electron is excited to the higher energy level. During de-excitation to lower energy level, energy of the emitted photon is exactly equal to the difference of energy of two energy levels. This is also. Next, electromagnetic radiation from the galaxy is passed through the spectrum analyzer and a line spectrum is obtained. Figure shows a small part of the sun's spectrum, the absorption line a wavelength lambda 393 and 397. So 393 and 397 nanometer are caused by the calcium atom absorb, absorbing particular wavelength. So the question is next. Figure shows the spectrum from the distance galaxy and you see level 276 with a pair of the absorption line that astronomer assume are also caused by the calcium atom. So we will look at these two values. This one, this is the change in the wavelength, and this one. The next is determine the wavelength of the two absorption lines shown in the figure 10.2. So we have to read this and this, and they are approximately, the first one is 397 approximately. Are you gonna write 396.8 or 75 nanometer? And the second is approximately 401, or you can write it, 408 approximately. Calculate that and estimate of the recessional velocity of the galaxy. The same formula, recessional velocity is equal to delta lambda over lambda in the speed of the light. So what is the wavelength difference? So initially in this diagram, we will look at this one. This is 393. And then it becomes here 397. So we will take the difference of these two. 397 minus 393 divided by the actual is 393 and 10 power minus 9 due to nanometer into 10 power minus 9 and multiply the speed of light 3 into 10 power 8. These two values are cancelled. So the difference of this divided by 393 and 3 into 10 power. So this is coming approximately 2.86. So 2.86 into 10 power 6. This is the answer. And the next question is, astronomical distance are commonly measured in the MAGA parsecs, MPC. One mega parsec, 3.26 mega light year, which is equal to 3.09 into 10 power 19. Yes, we have to consider this kilometers, estimate the distance of the galaxy from the, uh, so V is equal to H naught into D. So D is equal to V divided by H naught. So D, this recessional velocity is calculated. It is 2.86 into 10 power 6. 2.86 into 10 power 6. And divided by this Hubble constant is 79. But we will write this in meters. So this is 79,000. And then multiply by, this is MPC per but one MPC is equal to 3.9. So we will divide here by 3.09 into 10 power. This is kilometer. So we'll convert this into meters. So this is multiplied by 1000. It becomes 10 power 22. So the answer will be 2.86 into 10 power 6 divided by 79,000 times 3.09 and 10 power 22. 
after calculation, the answer is approximately 1.2 into 10 power 24 no, kilometers. So this 24 is uh, meter. So we will convert this into kilometer. So this is 21. So 1.2 into 10 power 21. Next, the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation received from the space may be analyzed to reveal more about the source using the data from the sun, the power output of the sun may be estimated. Light from the sun is incident at the area of one meter square of the surface of the earth, making an angle of 20 degree with the vertical. The intensity measured at one meter square area is 1280. And intensity is equal to power divided by area. So this is the intensity measured. And the question is show that the intensity of the light from the sun at the earth's surface is approximately 1400. So this is the intensity coming from the sun. And this is the intensity, this one, which is actually absorbed. And this is making some angle theta. So this is X component of I. So I X is equal to I cos theta. So we will use this formula. I is equal to I cos theta. I X is equal to I cos theta. And the question is I is required. So I is equal to I X divided by cos of theta. So I X received is smaller than the actual, mean it is 1280. This is 1280 divided by cos of 20 degree and after calculation the answer is coming 1362 okay this 1362 is close to 1400 figure so this is the intensity approximately next the radius of the Earth's orbit is 1.5 into 10 power 8. Show that the outer power of the sun is approximately this. Look, intensity is equal to power divided by area. So the power is equal to intensity times area. And the area is equal to 4 pi r square or 4 pi d square. So the power is required. The intensity is actual 1362 multiplied by 4, 22 by 7, and the distance is given 1.5 10 power 8 kilometer. But we have to write here 11 in meter and then square. So when calculated, the answer is coming 3.9 into 10 power. 26. So it's approximately close to this answer. The next is suggest two reason why the true value of the output power is likely to be greater than the calculated definitely sum of the power is absorbed by the atmosphere. Sum of the power is absorbed by the atmosphere. And the second answer is some wavelength some lambda are emitted in the form of the light. So when Wavelengths are in the form of the visible light, so they are not sharing the power. Next, the relative intensity of the electromagnetic radiation from the sun and each wavelength is shown in the figure. And the question is use the data to give and estimate the surface temperature of the sun. Constant in Wayne's displacement now is 2.898 into 10 power minus 3. So, maximum wavelength 
times the temperature is equal to constant. And the question is, temperature is required and the wavelength is approximately the speak wavelength is one. Okay, it is approximately 530, 525. So for example, it is 525 nano 10 minus nine. Temperature is required and this constant is 2.898 times 10 power minus 3. So P is equal to 2.898 times 10 power minus 3 divided by 525 into 10 power minus 9. Then answer will be approximately 5,500. So this is the temperature, 5,500. And the next question is use the Stephens law and your answer to C2 and D to estimate the value for the radius of the sun. Okay, so in this part, Stephens law is equal to, luminosity is equal to four by sigma radius square d power four. So the luminosity is 3.9 into 10 power x four by seven and the sigma this Stephens Boltzmann constant is 5.67 into 10 power minus eight y and the temperature is calculated how much it is 5500. So 5500 but power 4. And then R is equal to three point nine into ten power twenty-six divided by four divided by three point one four divided by five point six seven ten power minus eight and divided by fifteen five hundred that put power. And then under root the calculation answer is coming approximately seven into ten power eight. So it's seven point zero, seven point one into ten power eight. Approximately this is the radius of the sun. The next is suggest for the reason whether your value is likely to be an underestimated or overestimated of the radius of the sun. So, we are using here the estimated value of the luminosity. So actual luminosity L is larger. So when the luminosity is larger, so the radius will be bigger than calculated. Because L is equal to four by sigma R square and T4 in L directly proportional to R square. When this is the estimated value, the estimated value is smaller than the actual value of the luminosity of the sun. So when actual value is larger, then the radius actually will be larger. 